Hey all you outdoor enthusiasts out there. So if you clicked on this video, that means that you have the same problem as us, raindrops on the lens. There's nothing more frustrating than going out and filming your outdoor adventure all day long and then you get home, you dump your footage and you realize you had a raindrop on your lens and you lost the whole segment. We're not all very good about remembering to wipe our lens and checking it all the time. April is right around the corner, so you know what that means. April showers brings maybe I'll just leave my camera at home today. So there's a few different things that you can do to try to keep your lens. One of the things you can do is get rain X and try to use rain X on your lens cover. I know GoPro is selling some uh, glass covers that are supposed to be more uh, rain resistant. There's a lot of different things that you can try. I'm going to show you one thing that I did is super cheap and you only need a few different items. To so a friend of mine said that she found uh, lens covers on eBay that she could buy uh, for her GoPro and they seem to work um, okay. Uh, she showed me what they look like so I just kind of used that as a uh, premise to how I would start building this. I don't have a GoPro. Um, we use Yi cameras so we don't have GoPros so that's not an option for us. Also I don't have an eBay account or maybe I do. Maybe it's in the garage in a box next to my Facebook account and my yearbooks. So I'm going to show you how I made one for my camera. It looks like this. Super easy. But first, if you haven't already, please go down and hit the subscribe button and check out our other content. So you're only going to need a couple of things. I have this Columbia Gorge grape. It's just a juice bottle is all this thing is. You're going to need a glue gun. And you're going to need some kind of a knife. This is an X-Acto knife. Uh, maybe a box knife would work. I don't know. I didn't try. But uh, the reason I'm using this particular bottle is because it's square. So depending on the lens that you have for your camera. See there's mine. It's square. So I know some of them are uh, round. So just based on the type of lens that you have, the shape, you'll want to pick a bottle that fits that the best. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut your bottle. Be careful. So I kind of just zipped through that real quick. I didn't do a very good job, but you get the idea. You're just going to basically cut a section of the bottle off. And uh, I have one right here that I cut before that I was a lot more careful and I took my time with. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to cut it down so that this area here is just small enough that it will fit over the top of the outside of the perimeter of your lens cover. Okay, so now you can see that I'm going to take this bottle and here's my waterproof case. So if you have a GoPro or a waterproof camera already, you'll just fix this on top of your camera, but I don't, so uh, we have to use waterproof cases. So I've cut this, uh, the smaller diameter portion of the bottle um, so that it just fits down over that lens just like that so it'll end up looking about like that so the next thing you want to do is you want to put your camera in your waterproof case if your camera is already waterproof then uh, just turn it on to make sure but you want to look through your screen and make sure it's not inhibiting your view so you can see on the outside perimeters of that that if I leave it that long it's going to show up in the frame on the corner so I'm going to trim that down a little bit okay so now I've trimmed this down quite a bit I'm going to check my footage again just to make sure so now you can see it doesn't interfere or show up in the frame and it's about that long now so it actually covers quite a bit 
of any kind of a rain that would come down. Obviously this isn't going to be perfect. Here in the Pacific Northwest we get a lot of real driving rain and a light mist that's blowing in the wind. But this is going to work for a lot of different circumstances. It's going to help out quite a bit. Okay, now that I got this where I want it, I'm going to just take a hot glue gun and kind of just tack it into place for now. So I just kind of tacked it into place. I'm going to double check to make sure it's pretty square. Not too bad. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue around the whole edge. There you go. I'm just going to clean up a little bit of the excess glue, but I'm not too worried about it because honestly this is pretty much like a temporary fix. Um, you can glue this on with hot glue and you can actually pull the glue off with just a little drop of acetone or uh, like a paint thinner. Um, just a little bit will actually get this glue to release and you can just pull that off of there. So I'm only using this if it's going to be a really nasty rain and uh, hopefully this will inspire you to not just leave your camera at home if it's going to be rainy and drizzly because you're worried about raindrops and uh, yeah it's a pretty easy cheap fix I've used it already it worked really good and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope this uh, helps you out in the future if you like this please like share and subscribe and uh, we'll see you out there take care